Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture on logarithms. This will be on section 7.4 and most of this will have to do with properties of logarithms. I've already got um, the four ones that we will look at today uh, written up on the whiteboard here. And again, for, for testing, we're going to consider tests to be open book going forward as you are uh, finishing this out online. So you don't necessarily have to memorize these. Um, if you want to have a little uh, sheet of notes there next to you uh, as a quick way to summarize these, that might be advisable. These will certainly all be in the Hawks Learning System. Okay. All right, the first one is the change of base formula that we looked at last time. So let's do a quick example of that. Let's say you have um, 6 times log base 5 of 11. Okay. All right, and as we talked about previously, uh, on your calculator, you should have logs for base 10 and log for base E. So we'll, we'll use the change of base formula here. I'll just change this to log base 10, and the change of base formula would say that log base 5 of 11 will be the same as log of 11 divided by log of 5. I'm not writing in the base. Uh, when you don't write in the base, uh, we're assuming that means base 10. Okay. Then you could go ahead and uh, do this on your calculator. Log of 11 is 1.0. 4139. We'll go out to several decimal places to avoid any rounding errors as we finish the calculation. And log of 5 is 0 0.69897. Okay. And uh, then that comes out to be 6 times uh, about 1.4. Eight nine nine when you do the division, and that's about eight point nine four. Okay. Generally speaking, uh, Hawks will want you to write answers uh, when you're doing decimal approximations to two decimal places. They'll they'll tell you that in the instructions. Okay. So that's using formula one, the first one there. Um, now the other formulas. For the most part, in this section, we'll use these uh, for simplifying, okay? And uh, on the left, I've got the formulas uh, that you'll see in this section, okay? Formulas for logarithms. Uh, we won't go into any formal proofs of why these work, but you can think of each of these as going with a corresponding um, property of exponents, okay? Here we are multiplying, we're taking the log of a product, okay? When you do products with respect to powers, you add the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5, okay? So what are we doing here? We're multiplying and we're adding the exponents. Remember that logarithms are exponents. So when I'm adding log x plus log y, I'm adding two exponents, okay? When we divide we subtract the exponents, okay? So there's our property of exponents. When we divide, we subtract the exponents. And in this property of logarithms, when we divide, we subtract the exponents, okay? And finally, when you take a power to a power, you multiply the exponents, okay? So on this side, here, we're multiplying the exponents. n is an exponent. And log of x is an exponent, so we're multiplying the two exponents there. Okay, All right, so um, you don't have to think about too much like where these come from, but just realize these properties of logarithms are coming from the properties of exponents that we talked about earlier in the semester. Okay, All right, so let's do uh, an example um, using, uh, let's say, just the first property. Let's say you have ln of 4 times x. Okay. ln, remember, is log base e. Um, so these properties of logs that I have up here, they work for any base. So they'll work for natural logarithm. Okay. We have 4 times x. So that's like what we have here in property 2. Okay. 
Um, since I'm multiplying, I will add the exponents. This will be equal to ln x, ln 4 plus ln x. Okay? And when you're doing these in Hawks, um, generally they'll be fine with you leaving this as a natural log of 4. In the Hawks system, it'll come up with parentheses anyway, and you can just put in uh, the 4 and the x into the parentheses. All right, um, let's do another example. Okay. And we're going to do two things at once here. Okay. Let's go ln x plus ln y minus ln z. Okay, so I've actually got three logarithms here. Okay, I'm going to, whoopsie. We'll get back to that later. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, kind of the opposite of what we did in the previous example. We're going to we have three logarithms. We're going to combine them into one logarithm. So we're going to take what's on the right side of the formulas we have up there and work to the left side. Okay, so step one, what I'm going to do is um, let's combine these two logs together first using formula number two. Okay, so that's going to be ln xy. Okay, then I still have my ln or natural log z after that. Okay, now I'm going to use the third formula, the one for division. I have ln of xy. I'm just going to think of that as one expression. I'm going to do the subtraction. Uh, that leads me to division, so this is going to be ln of xy divided by z. Okay. And if you want to think as kind of a shortcut, if you're adding logs, when you combine those, you're going to end up multiplying. If you have a minus sign or you're subtracting the logs, then you're going to uh, divide. Okay. All right, let's do a couple more examples. Right, and the formulas are going to go off the page here, but uh, refer to them, back to them as you need. Okay, so next example. Um, let's say we have 2 ln x minus y. Okay, whoops, let's make that minus uh, natural log of y. Okay. And I want to combine this into a single logarithm like we just did in the previous example. All right, so first what I'm going to do is, on this first part, I'm going to use the fourth property here, the one with exponents. I'm going to go from the right side to the left side. So the, the 2 is like the n, and then I've got a log. I can put that n back up on top. All right, so 2 times ln x will be the same as natural log of x squared. And then I still have my minus ln y. Okay. Then I'll use that subtraction property. This will be just ln of x squared divided by y. Okay. Um, so you'll, you'll have practice with these uh, in the exercise. Get used to them a little bit. Okay. Let's do one more of these kind of simplifying examples. All right, and uh, here let's go uh, the other way again. Let's say we have um, 4x squared divided by a y. Okay, so I have log of that. Uh, let's split this back up into um, logs, the simplest logs that we can um, uh, do. Okay. Down. All right, so first I'm going to use my subtraction rule. This will be log of 4x squared minus log of y. Okay. All right, now the log of y, that's about as simple as it can get. The log of 4x squared, I can break that apart further. It's 4 times x squared, so let's go log of 4 plus log of x squared. And 
and I'm still subtracting log of y. All right, and then I'm almost done. Uh, log of 4 is as simple as I can get. Uh, I can simplify the log x squared. I can write this as log 4 plus 2 log x minus log y. Okay. All right, and so you, you should be able to work both ways. They'll tell you in the instructions whether they want you to combine the logarithms into a single log or if they want you to uh, break the logs apart um, into just log x, log y, log z, whatever they have there.